Sometimes the internet churns out a video that makes you wish it wasn't so easy to capture all the mysteries of the world. While those occurrences are certainly rare, they do exist. Oh, look at him swim! From events like hundreds of birds suddenly dropping from the sky to mystery animals making their way into people's homes, here are 15 unsettling discoveries that left locals in shock. Stolen heart. From hearts to desiccated and or decapitated heads, saintly remnants are a common feature of many Irish churches. An 800-year-old heart of St. Lawrence O'Toole, to be exact, was stolen and remained missing for years. The heart was recently following an intelligence-led investigation that took years to be assembled. It was believed that the thief hid out in the church until closing time, and when night hit and everyone was sleeping, he took the heart and ran off. The thief made sure to light two candles around the altar before leaving, as if he was apologizing while still committing the act. It was on display in an enclosure surrounded by iron bars. It's believed that he used cutters to pry open the bars and wedged the heart in a box from the opening. Amid scenes of celebration, the 800-year-old preserved heart of the once Archbishop of Dublin was presented to the current Archbishop upon its return. The presentation was accompanied in typical Catholic fashion, accompanied by the full cathedral choir, the organ and bass section at a special service. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Birds fall from the sky. Security camera footage can be exciting, but it's moments like this where it becomes terrifying. The moment thousands of birds suddenly died and fell from the sky was captured on this CCTV system in Mexico. The video was captured in northern Mexico and displays what resembles a rainstorm of birds hitting the pavement after mysteriously dropping to the ground. Many of the birds engaged to get up and fly away in an escape from whatever glitch in the matrix just occurred, but many were crushed under the weight and littered the streets, dead birds. Some speculate a burst of 5G signal caused them to fall, but no evidence has confirmed that theory. A few experts that are investigating the case say there are probably more reasonable explanations, like a toxic cloud overhead that caused the flock to faint momentarily, and unfortunately deadly for many of them. Another theory revolves around murmuration, when birds fly together in a super tight formation. They can involve hundreds of birds, making dazzling shapes and patterns in the sky as the birds fly in sync. When one bird suddenly changes its direction or speed, the other bird follows. If one suddenly dives to the ground, the flock might follow. This was probably the last time this guy was the leader of the murmurations. Mm -hmm. The Disappearing Well Sinkholes are some of the most dangerous, horrifying forces of nature that exist. Imagine the earth just up and swallows whatever is erected atop it. With ease, these natural disasters could swallow entire homes in the blink of an eye and with no resistance whatsoever. In a troubling turn of events, scientists have revealed that their emergence is increasing in size and frequency and they haven't a clue as to why. A troubling omen of the devastating natural disaster to come if Mother Nature continues to enrage, a recent event devoured a house and nearly took the family of four with it. Luckily, the family saw it coming before it was too late, thanks to some crazy land movements as a precursor to the disaster. The craziest part of it all is that sinkholes continue to grow larger and larger. Few survive such a devastating onslaught from Mother Nature, and the people are haunting. <laughs> Mystery Animal a mystery animal was rescued by animal control and experts aren't sure whether it's a dog or a coyote. Heck, it could be some hybrid of both of them. Because of the uncertainty, experts are having a genetic test done so that they can confirm. The animal was discovered when a local resident noticed little paw prints at her front door that led around the house. She followed them and found the canine injured and huddled in a corner and shivering. She said right there that she wasn't sure whether it was a dog or a coyote, but she knew she had to help it. She called animal control immediately, who promptly arrived and handled the situation. The rescue group said that the creature is being kept in isolation until the genetic testing results come back, a process that could take weeks to months. In the meantime, the creature is being treated for illnesses, getting cleaned up, and being fed. If it is a dog, it'll be offered for adoption once it's recovered, and if it's a coyote, it'll be released back into the wild where it belongs. All parties involved said they were happy to help a fellow creature in need. <laughs> Ancient Pharaoh 
A team of German and Egyptian archaeologists recently made a colossal discovery, both literally and figuratively, components of an enormous 3,000-year-old statue, which experts suspect depicts the legendary Pharaoh Ramses II, were located buried in the Cairo slum of Materia. The discovery tells a tale of the world's origins and could start a new chapter for Egyptian history. It's safe to assume historians are elated to see what new revelations come from the find. The recovered bust and head of the ancient statue measures a whopping 16 feet in length and was chiseled from quartzite. The upper part of a smaller statue depicts Pharaoh Seti II, who was Ramses II's grandson, and pieces of an instrument inscribed with hieroglyphics. Experts have already started expeditiously restoring the artifacts, which is now displayed at the Grand Egyptian Museum. Ramses is considered by many historians as the greatest pharaoh to rule the Egyptian empire, and he believed that the world was created in Heliopolis, which now stands as the modern slum of Mataria. It makes sense why a statue of him would be erected there in his time. This latest unearthing of human history is suspected to jumpstart the Egyptian tourism industry once more after years of a lull. <laughs> Ice Orbs When Mother Nature decides to throw some crazy stuff at humans, the world tends to act funny when it's all said and done. The insane polar vortex that swept through many parts of the country just a few years ago was a testament to that. Lake Michigan and the states it touches all were hit with blistering colds and strange lake behavior during a polar vortex. Aside from cars being frozen to streets and hot water vaporizing the moment it touches the freezing air, the lake itself started to churn out giant ice boulders never before observed in the area. Hypnotic as they are, they're not a new natural phenomenon to be observed in other places of the world where these massive boulders form when large chunks of ice break off and coast away into the freezing water. From the rolling waves and after continuous abrasion, the ice is shaped into the boulders you see before you. It requires extreme cold temperatures like a polar vortex because the ice would just melt from the process otherwise. Only when the water is insanely cold can this process begin to work. The Hanging Car Random cars suspended from bridges by a cargo strap have been popping up all over the events or stumping cops as well. Is this some sort of accident? An elaborate art project? Or something more sinister? While officials can't fathom this happening by accident, and on multiple occasions, how the person managed to get the car up there without anyone noticing is just a bigger question as to why. The vehicle, which appears to be scorched and missing all of its windows, seemingly appeared out of thin air overnight. Law enforcement first suspected it of being some elaborate prop from some film shoot, but a little digging revealed no permits had been filed such. This doesn't rule out the fact that it could be for a movie, but the fact that they just keep popping up points to other intentions. For the time being, Police are just assuming it's a prank. The car was dangling above one of the busiest roads in Toronto, so you can imagine the worry and danger that exists from such a prank. As a result, city workers closed an entire lane until it had been investigated and then safely lowered and removed the scene. Before cops arrived, however, a few hundred people had already driven beneath it, with a few of them reporting the dangerous car to police. The closure of an entire lane for hours while it was deemed safe and not booby-trapped took a much larger group of people than you might assume, and far longer. The incident caused massive delays citywide. In 2008, in Vancouver, a Volkswagen Beetle was discovered hanging similarly from the Lionsgate Bridge. <laughs> Crusader Sword A resident diving off the coast of northern Israel, not far from his home, stumbled across an incredible preserved 900-year-old sword dated to the time of the Crusades. Other than being encrusted in marine organisms, the sword was in impeccable condition. He discovered the sword and many other century-old artifacts on the seafloor just off the Carmel coast, where years of shifting sands have made them suddenly visible. There's a treasure trove of mystery and relics out there just waiting to be discovered. It takes a perfect set of circumstances for these discoveries to be made. Just imagine what else there could be buried in the earth. Experts that analyzed the blade said it undoubtedly belonged to a crusader knight, since the organisms have been attached to the sword for so long, they have practically fused themselves with the metal, making it nearly impossible to remove them without damaging the blade. The irony is that it was kept so well preserved for so long that it also is what's keeping it from returning to its former glory. You can't have one without the other in this case. <laughs> Mythical skeleton. Depending on where you are, dragons are portrayed in different ways. Some have giant wings, breathe fire, and are evil, and in other places they have no wings, slither about the ground, 
and offer magical boons to those lucky enough to see or commune with them. The Chinese dragon, which resembles more serpent than winged doom, is one of the earliest recounts of the mythical beasts. Bones of a creature were recently discovered that have many Chinese convinced it's indeed the bones of a dragon. The 60-foot-long skeleton ends on a very dragon-like skull with two little protruding horns from the top. It indeed looks like what the mythical beasts have been described as all these years, but why show up now? Are they real? Many people were allowed it to see the creature's bones to see for themselves whether they believe in dragons. Does this change your mind? Or back up what you already knew? 600-pound turtle The 5-foot-long, 600-pound adult male leatherback turtle was recently discovered stranded on the Cape Cod, Massachusetts. A rescue team with the Mass Audubon Wellfleet Bay Wildlife Sanctuary was quick to arrive on the scene to aid the distressed turtle from drifting somewhere harder for people to access. The behemoth turtle couldn't just be lifted, obviously, so the team was forced to use a heavy-duty transportation cart typically reserved for whales. Sea turtles getting stranded occur often in the fall when temperatures drop and the lovable beasts aren't able to discern how to swim out of the bay and make their way for warmer waters. Instead of swimming in the freezing water, they opt to stay on land, leaving them stranded wherever they were. Rescuers are busy saving turtles during the season. Rescuers say the turtle was in great health aside from its unfortunate predicament and a little bit of stress from not being able to do what it was born to do. Responders eventually moved the tortoise to Herring Cove, Provincetown, where he received more medical assistance like injections of vitamins and anti-inflammatories before being released back into the wild. <laughs> Buried Treasure A mountain of gold, quite literally, has been discovered in the Congo and has villagers flocking to the area to try and collect some of the wealth for themselves. Experts say the soil in the area is made up of 60 to 90 percent gold. Who's buying their plane ticket and sifter as we speak? Before you do, the whole operation has been shut down by local government agencies because of the influx of people, or so they say. They've banned mining in the area for the time being. Essentially, they just stole that spot right from under the people and taking it for themselves. Social media was flooded with videos of many villagers with huge pans full of gold. These are the people who could benefit from this type of wealth, and it was unfairly stripped from their reach. While those that managed to make it there and collect a fair share of the riches were allowed to keep it, others may never get the opportunity again with the ban in place. Some corporation will probably arrive and plant a mine flag on it and call it theirs. Why not just let the people have what it is in their land anyway? Real Water Dragon Is it a dragon? Is it a serpent? It's actually both. If you've never visited Thailand, whether on the roof of the temple or in the depths of the river, you are bound to have encountered the legendary Naga once or twice. From just a glance at a statue of a Naga, it's easy to see why they're so revered as such fearsome guardians. With their angry expressions terrifying enough to rattle the bravest of bones, sharp teeth that can shred through flesh, often a multitude of heads, the Naga aren't for the faint-hearted and don't take kindly to mortals that disrespect their ways. Different versions of the Naga are prevalent around Asia each with their own little variations to make them unique, like the Southeast Asian variant, which takes on a much more flying dragon form. In all cultures, however, there are the protectors of gods and are said to inhabit the famed Mekong River that flows through much of Southeast Asia. Their ferocious reputation has scared locals from polluting the river for fear of angering these divine serpents to this day. Such a reputation is heightened further by the fact that Kamchanod Forest, a haunted forest on an island, is said to be their dwelling as well as the location for the portal between the human world and the spirit realm. Mm. <laughs> Mysterious Hunger Stones Hunger stones are the stones at the bottom of a river that show up after a long period of drought. The lowered waters reveal the stones and gives inclination to residents that water and thus farm yield would be difficult. The long known about omen stones have once again turned up and they speak of famine and all sorts of doom and gloom in these troubling times of unpredictable natural events. On the other hand, history also tells us that while these stones were indeed present during some hard, famished moments in the area, they were also present during plenty of good times too. The aptly named hunger stones are described with the dates of past droughts that had seemingly wrought. The markings tell of a long history in the area. Also on the rocks is a plethora of 
portentous inscriptions of doom and gloom. These stones have showed up as far as Pennsylvania, but they're most often described in Germany. With the recent Central European heat wave that's been scorching the land over the past few years, the, well the weather has been hot enough to make over a dozen of the stones visible along the Elbe. That is more than has ever revealed themselves at once ever documented. <laughs> Unexplainable croc. Crocodiles are not native to Crete, so imagine their surprise when one turned up in their lakes all by his lonesome. Locals remain mystified about where in the world the creature could have come from and how it ended up in the lake to begin with. The most prevalent theory is that it was kept as a pet and later abandoned after it grew too large to feed or could no longer be controlled. This is one of the many reasons people shouldn't keep crocs as pets. Local souvenir shops aren't too concerned and are taking advantage of the mystery by selling crocodile merchandise. Just imagine the questions people would have when they walk into a tourist shop and find crocs in a country where they don't exist. Residents are also convinced that the recent disappearances of lambs and other livestock are the gator's fault as well. Where the lake was once able to be enjoyed by the locals, it's now fenced off by local authorities for safety concerns. It just goes to show that you never know what might be lurking in the water. Even if you've been to the place a million times over, one person could make a bad decision to make a wild predator a pet, and the entire village suffers because of it. It isn't like they can just pick up the gator and place it back where it belongs because they don't belong in Crete. Underwater Stonehenge If you weren't aware, the Earth is pretty old, young in terms of planetary life cycles, but old in terms of the history that's already come and gone across its surface. No one can deny that. While it has geographically changed multiple times over the billions and billions of years in its life, many of the secrets still lie in its waters or buried in the Earth. Life, by comparison to a planet life cycle, is but a fraction of the Earth's age. With that being said, the land that our ancestors once proud and hunted upon of yesterday could just as easily be submerged beneath the shifting landscape as it stands today, or it could be destroyed altogether. Thanks to an incredible advance in satellite imagery, scientists are capable of observing beneath the Earth's crust from a bird's eye view. The new tech has revealed some amazing new things. The Stonehenge lying submerged in Lake Michigan, for instance, being one of the most fascinating. All this time, not a single soul was aware of the strange stones lurking at the bottom of the lake. Now we do, and it's an amazing exploration of human past that we didn't know was there until recently. It offers a new path into human history. While scanning beneath the waters of the lake for wrecks and supplies, they happened to cross the archaeological wonder. What they found was beyond treasure, say experts. The series of stones are arranged with mathematical genius precision and are adorned with prehistoric carvings of creatures like Mastodon, speaking volumes about the age. Found at a mere depth of about 40 feet, they discovered tons of things down there like vintage cars, an old World War I pier, and ancient relics. None, however, were a bigger surprise than the so-called Lake Michigan Stonehenge. Sometimes the world presents a situation of people that can't be fully grasped. These shocking situations have led to some pretty amazing videos not to mention them going viral. Some are haunting, some are amazing, but either way they leave us pondering deeper questions on the subject, which often lead to some incredible revelations. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.